Is my Mercury good or bad? Good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. <laughs> Mercury, as you know, is the primary karata for the 10th house, which is the house of name, fame, power, position, skill, authority, respect, administration. So, therefore, Mercury's placement is very, 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 very important in a horoscope, especially for money and skill and profession, which is probably the most important topic in today's discussions. So therefore, don't interpret things in good or bad, as I have said for every other video in this series, and I will say the same for Mercury. But if the overall chart is strong for a uh, profession and these combinations are present, the good ones, then it's fantastic. And if the chart is very difficult and the bad ones are present, oh, tough one. All right. So, here, uh, I will discuss combinations primarily from numerology and astrology, but you can also use palmistry, okay? I will mention one of one of that. If I forget, just remind me in the comments, all right? So, number one, the good one is in numerology, if you have the number nine and five together. Nine is Mars and five is the number of Mercury. So, for example, you are born on 9th of May or, you know, you are born in 1959 or 1995 or... Your basic number is 5 and somewhere else there is 9 or your basic number is 9 and somewhere else there is 5. Or your destiny number is 9 and 5 is somewhere or your destiny number is 5 and 9 is somewhere in the chart. Okay. Now when you are talking of the individual numbers, don't take the first two digits of the year because everybody will have 1 and 9. Okay. But those two you cannot consider. But apart from the first two digits, you can consider uh, your basic number or the month or the last two digits of the year or your destiny number. Destiny number is the sum total of your entire DOB, including the first two digits of the year, okay? So, uh, 9 and 5, this is present in many famous uh, personalities. Uh, for example, uh, Manmohan Singh Ji has this, Prime Minister Modi has this, uh, S. Jayashankar Saab has this, uh, Dr. Shashi Tharoor has this, so many other famous personalities who have had great achievements in their profession. All of these people, they have this, okay? So this gives you great eloquence and great knowledge of finance and it gives you great ability to handle huge sum of wealth and money basically, okay? But this is good for anything. It does not mean that you have to go to finance if you have this. But if you uh, if you are um, if you are in any area of life, this will help you, all right? Number two, seven and five. So again, if you have, instead of nine, if you have seven, and along with that, if you have five using the same rules as we discussed in numerology, then also this is an exceptional combination because uh, this makes you extremely wealthy uh, through luck. Okay, now of course luck does not mean uh, you are you know not uh, are working or you are just sitting idle doing nothing, but it just means that somehow destiny has favored you. Okay, so any examples? Well, yes, uh, President Vladimir Putin is one example. So he has this seven and five. Shah Rukh Khan has this. Salman Khan has this. Uh, eh, eh, most of the bo other Bollywood celebrities have this. Okay, um, I think Karishma Kapoor, uh, Shilpa Shetty, Akshay Kumar, all of these people they have it. Okay, for Akshay Kumar I'll have to check, but in my knowledge uh, it is there for almost every person. Okay, so this means uh, seven in numerology is the number of luck. So if you have seven and five, you are very blessed because you have given a lot of donations in your previous lifetimes and in this lifetime that will come back to you in terms of uh, monetary gains okay so if you have that then congratulations then number three if your destiny number is five or even your basic number is five then also this works so basic number as you know it's the sum of the day okay so if you are born on 5th 14th or 23rd then your basic number is five and destiny number is, you know, the culmination of the entire date of birth, you know, like, uh, for example, 17 September 1950, this is Prime Minister Modi's date of birth. And if you add, it comes to uh, five, okay? So, uh, these people can have phenomenal achievements in area of wealth and also in name, fame, uh, skill. So, therefore, if your destiny number or basic number is five, then also this will be very helpful. But for this, Mercury has to also be well placed in the chart. You cannot just have basic or destiny 5 because so many people will be born on you know basic 5 or destiny 5 it does not mean everybody will be a millionaire okay but you need a reasonably good mercury so if your mercury is reasonably good 
along with this you will uh, i mean in the chart along with this basic destiny 5 uh, you will have uh, above average wealth okay and if it is very good you will be exceptional and if it is exceptional in the chart you will be like once in a millennium okay <laughs> Now, number four, if you have one and five, one is the number of the sun and number five is again Mercury. So if you have one and five, uh, so it is like uh, Buddha Diti Yoga is there for you. And also, uh, if you have this in the chart, like in, in the horoscope also, Mercury and sun are conjunct, but reasonably well placed, then you know that this yoga is phenomenal. It will give you uh, extraordinary leadership because number one is the number of leadership. And number five is the money of wealth, a number of wealth. Okay, so therefore, wealth and leadership together, huge sums of money. Okay, now we go to astrology. So, Mercury either in the third house or tenth house or in the eleventh house, well placed, very, very, very important. Well placed means uh, by sign, it should not be in a water sign or it should not be in a fire sign. Mercury does excellent in earth signs and it does also very good in air signs right so if, if mercury is in third tenth or eleventh would be also sixth uh, in art sign or uh, air sign then this is fantastic okay this means you will know how to make money from any source okay so this is a fantastic combination number six most important like always if the nakshatra lord of mercury so suppose mercury is placed in Has hasta nakshatra anywhere in the chart and the Lord of Hasta Nakshatra moon is in the 10th or 11th or it is in Kendra. Then it shows like massive wealth can come in during Mercury Dasha. Okay, so these these results will manifest, the good results. So if Mercury is well placed, the good results will manifest as during Mercury Mahadasha or Antar Dasha. Okay, so this is important. So if the Nakshatra Lord is well placed, you don't have to do one, just... Uh, it's probably done. Okay. Now, the bad combinations. Okay. Bad again. Not bad literally, but can be bad if, you know, there are, uh, yeah, like, if the other, com many bad combinations are there and if the overall chart is very weak, then this can be bad. Now, when I say a bad mercury, it does not mean somebody is a stupid person or somebody is an idiot and somebody cannot think. Okay. Bad mercury can mean that sometimes, but most of the times, bad mercury means bad decisions or, you know, over-investing somewhere or your money getting stuck or, you know, basically bad financial decisions or not able to control your expense and all this, okay? So a person may be very intelligent, but might have a bad mercury and the person might not be able to control uh, the expenditure, okay? So then also that's a problem. Or you make mistakes during communication or speech. So that also means your mercury might be problematic. So number one, uh, using numerology, we know if you have the number five and you don't have one, nine or seven, instead you have the even numbers like, you know, two, four, six, eight uh, or many of these numbers. Like, you know, you are, you are born like 26th May. So two, six and five is also there or you're born on 28th May, something like that. Okay. Or yeah, you are born like, you know, uh, fourth, fourth of August, 1962. That's like. Madness. I mean, of course, five also has to be there, but I'm just giving an example. Okay. <clears throat> so it could be you have these even numbers and your destiny number is five. So it could be possible. Okay. So in that case, uh, you have to understand that if you have these numbers along with five, then a lot of money will go out from your life. So don't give loans to others. Don't invest in, you know, quick get quick rich schemes, okay? Get rich quick schemes. So that's very dangerous. And if you give money to your friends or relatives, you're not getting it back. Most of the times you are not, okay? Now, if uh, if Mercury is in the Dustana houses, primarily not the 6th, but the 8th or the 12th, and it is in a water sign or fire sign. This is a very difficult placement because the person will make terrible decisions. Okay, so if you if you have this placement, you need to have a financial investor or a guide who can actually help you to put your money. Otherwise, uh, you will create rakas. Okay, so be careful with that. Now, the third one is afflicted mercury in the Navamsha chart. So if mercury is afflicted in the Navamsha, then what happens? So any planet badly placed in the Navamsha will 
give you difficulties in the standard process of life. What does this mean? So suppose Venus is afflicted. You can have problems in marriage. So the standard protocol is obstructed. Okay. So same with Mercury. You are going to invest your money, you know, and what not. Some other problem happens, you know, before you invest, the stock price goes up. <laughs> and you think, oh, it will go up, 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 up. And then when it's at all time high, you invest and then it crashes. Okay. So, somehow external situations don't favor you if the D9 is not the best, okay? So, if your Mercury is badly placed in D9, then uh, please be prepared for, to see surprises if you are in the stock market, all right? Very, very, very uh, difficult placement. But of course, this can be mitigated, you know, you do. So, how you can mitigate this is, you know, by not investing everything in one stock, you know, or not investing in penny stocks or, you know, mean coins especially. So, therefore... Uh, if you have a very strong D1 and the other good combinations in numerology and you have this, then it means you will make a lot of money, but you will also lose a lot of money, okay? So, therefore, be a bit careful with this, okay? Then, the next one is Mercury debilitated in D10, but outside of Kendra. So, in D10, it is in Pisces, anywhere except the first, fourth, seven, ten. So, if Mercury is in Pisces in the second, you know, third or fifth, 6th, 9th or no, 11th or 12th also at times, certainly. Because if a planet is in Kendra, the difficulties and the debility can be mitigated through practice and uh, hard work. But if Mercury is debilitated and also out of Kendra, it means it's just lying there without much ac active uh, contribution. And when there is a contribution, it's bad, okay? So again, this can mean you are making bad financial decisions, you don't know where to invest your money, how to grow your money, so then that's problematic, okay? And if you have this, again, the same rule applies. Please, before you invest your money, get get the help of some, you know, financial advisor or, you know, like uh, somebody, any friend who is good with money, okay? And last but not the least, if Mercury is afflicted, Mercury is afflicted, in your D60 chart. This is very important because in the D60 chart, the Mercury in D60 will tell you what is your default thought process. So if Mercury is afflicted in the D60, it can mean that there is some issue with your default thought process. So this can this can manifest in you know various ways. You know, like you cannot think properly, you are not able to calculate properly, you are not able to understand, you, you are not able to judge things in the right way. Or you cannot make a decision. Okay, so if you have these problems, then you need to understand that Mercury is difficult in the chart. Okay, so I give you six combinations of a good Mercury and five combinations of a bad Mercury. So now you see, every nobody will have all the good combinations or all the bad. You know, it will be a mixture of everything. So now you have to see, look at your chart and see which one are the good ones more prominent or the bad ones more prominent. So if you have like two good combinations and four bad combinations, the net result can be negative, which means you will get good money because of the good combinations, but because of the bad, you will lose a lot of money. It does not mean it will cancel and you will get nothing. It does not mean that, okay? But suppose you have only one good and you have three negative or four negative, then you will earn this much and this much will go, okay? So be very careful. Invest in very, very, very safe assets if your market is not the best and invest with the right financial guidance under a financial advisor, all right? And don't break the tax laws. All right, thank you so much. For personalized consultations, you will find my website below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. Don't forget with the thumbs up if you enjoyed this and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Take care.